Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design, and today we are back with more Oxen Free, <laughs> and it's another day. It's been a little while, sorry to keep you guys hanging on Oxen Free not getting released. I feel like we're really close to the end. Yeah. I, I We still have no concept because neither of us have beaten this, but we're going to finish it this time. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So, we're, uh, last we left off, we just dealt with the deal with the ghosts kind of thing where they we... wanted to take clarissa and then would let us leave mm -hmm. don't and, trust no ghosts and then you know we found out that ren is okay and now ren and uh the other nona. girl nona are bickering over the the intercom which is why we're on the map screen right now so that their dialogue doesn't like get cut off yeah but we're over here and we need to open that station the, like that radio locked. lock yeah Cool. Let's do this thing. And we can do this stuff. Stuff. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> okay. Over. Over now. Why do you have to have the last word? Over Maybe I should interact with the door first. Enough. Oh, I guess it doesn't have a thing. I keep forgetting this thing is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been a little while. I think it like only takes. <laughs> one frequency or maybe well no that's right it it takes three but we have to like it does the triangle thing so i wonder if people lose their names i wonder if and give them to is that the girl romeo alpha victor echo Cena. that's military code Interesting. I feel like we're getting a lot more stations all of a sudden. Well, this is that radio that What's Her Face had. Oh, that's true. I guess we haven't really explored a lot of those uh, channels that were at higher and lower frequencies. Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember what happens when we find one of the correct frequencies. Well, Jeez. no. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I think... You just oh, leave wow. it here. Oh, really? Yeah. Just the one. Uh... Oh. See, before I thought we had to, like, find oh, three frequencies that were nearby. Oh, hello. No. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house, they've shaved all my cats, they look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Everyone just shut up. <laughs> play dress up phone time when you get home. Yeah, I guess he's right, actually. Okay, all right, fine. I like that Signal they can still have fun. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. So. Close the time. Hole and save the day. Hole. So it, that's bad. <laughs> we know it's over. not going to work that well. Yeah. So it's in Epiphany Field. I thought it was in. Yeah, yeah. It, there's, you're right. there's a tiny little arrow. And then you just like, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, so that shouldn't be too far away. Back the way we came. Let's go, Jonas. But, so, I, I was going to say, I, I like that they can still kind of joke around despite the, like, dire situation that we're in. Oh, yeah. Which, I guess, you know, anyone that's in those kinds of, like, life or death situations probably would do something like that. It's either, either you do that or you do the exact opposite where you make everything worse by, like, being overly, I don't know, freaked out or stressed. and. You'd probably do a little bit of both. Yeah, that's true. I feel like... When people joke in situations like that, it's kind of like a coping mechanism to be like, <laughs> it's so bad, we might as well laugh at it at this point. Well, I've definitely done that in like highly emotional situations, so I feel like highly dangerous situations wouldn't be that much different. That's fair. I always find it really interesting to see how people respond under like really high levels of stress or, or pressure. It's like... That's why I like to do game jams with any of the, the people we're considering recruiting into the Affinity Archives team. 
which if you guys don't know, a game jam is where you make a game in like 48 or 72 hours. Um, and it's, it's pretty nuts. You don't usually sleep very much. Um, but every time we've recruited like a new programmer, that's kind of how <laughs> we test to see if we're going to like them or not. Can you handle stress? It's, it's a big deal. Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach, Yeah, and I, you... I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because... I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool us living together for... For whatever. Senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you. That's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> Aw. That's what I was thinking. I'm glad too. Okay? So there. It's out in the open. We're both glad. Okay. Good. So, that's it. <laughs> and now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. This is like the... Perfect, fine, awkward brother sister no, conversation. Yeah. It, like, it yep. would have been whatever to live together. Yeah. We are going to live together, and you're someday soon going to eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> all right. Cuties. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cute. It's, it's fun to see them kind of like building this relationship too, because. You know, when we first saw these two, they were really awkward around each other because they're like, I guess we're siblings yeah, now. Yeah, this stuff all literally just happened. And, I, you know, I don't know a lot of people that have, like, Mixed suddenly, families. yeah, suddenly, like, in their teenage years, um, you know, gotten another sibling, a step-sibling. And, like, I, I imagine that transition is really awkward for a while because, you know, it's not like you're friends with them. But you're not, you're like sudden, suddenly siblings. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Oh man. Who's Ash. Oh, you mean Amanda, my really good friend Amanda, who's moving away forever. That Amanda. Is this yeah, Michael Amanda. again? Yeah. Stole her mom's car, and I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission oh, to take no. it, cause whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. Oh, good. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. <laughs> It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons. Just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. That sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. <laughs> nah, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately, this is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. <laughs> Eloquent, Alex. Uh, let's get back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? 
Um, it was easy. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. <laughs> he said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Sassy fans. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I don't know where we're going, buddy. All right. That's interesting, though. So do you think that... I remember in our previous conversation, Michael talked to us about Clarissa. Uh -huh. Do you think that he was saying that he committed more to her in this because Alex, of what stop we said it. there? Just stop. Ugh. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's interesting, right? Because technically, what's happening in those scenes didn't really happen. Because it's it's an event from the past that we've already experienced. And so, you know, I, I, I don't know. It seems like we're changing time almost, if that is the case. That's, that's what's making that interesting, right? Yeah, I don't know exactly what we're... I don't know if it's just showing us a memory or if it's us interacting with our memories or... I think the probably big, that. Yeah, and I think the big question, too, is, you know, if these ghosts are the ones that are affecting us and causing us to see these visions and kind of go back into the past, um, there's the question of why. And I know we've kind of already mentioned this, but, like, why would the ghosts care to bring up these memories, of all things? Yeah, I'm kind of banking on or hoping still that there's um good ghosts for lack of a better mm -hmm. phrase like if like if michael is helping out in some small way from beyond i don't know if that's actually the case and maybe it's just like i want them to have an ally that's actually on the same level as the enemy yeah i, I really i i i'm on that side too where i think that michael michael's ghost is going to be like the guardian angel of this mm -hmm. story um, but anyway, that's all we have for this episode. Well, we could talk about characters acting under stress. Um, oh, yeah. maybe even we from a writing that. perspective, how have the characters changed since these events have happened? I mean, obviously we've seen some relationships kind of blossom. Um, but what are they doing in the writing that's actually showing growth of character? Mm -hmm. I like that. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to be playing Oxen Free until the end. So... Uh, we have no idea how many more episodes that'll be, but we're going to get there. So it's Feeling close. <laughs> be sure to vote on what you want to see next. I think right now uh, it, the th game in the lead is Firewatch. So if yeah. you don't want us to play Firewatch, you better get to voting. because. Uh... And I'll be sick. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.